America, a nation run by gangsters. <laughs> um, you have to come to that realization. You have to wake up and understand that uh, we are the uh, largest uh, organized crime system out there. America has been has a long and storied history of being involved in organized crime. Um, most recently we saw this whole thing of this union situation. They're going to uh, you know stop the dock workers or whatever else here on the on the East Coast primarily and we're going to you know stop products from coming into America. And uh, this union boss guy, he's got the tough accent, you know, he's from New Jersey and everything. And he said, hey, he said, well, you know, we'll hold America hostage. We'll, we'll just stop this thing from happening. And then you look into the guy and you realize that he has been under investigation for ties to the mafia. <laughs> and this is the guy that uh, brings supplies in. Yeah, real nice. And of course, uh, I'm sure that Trump has no ties to the mafia. I mean, you can make a billion dollars as a decent, honest, hardworking man, right? Saw a video about him where they were talking about the top 10 billionaires that support Trump. And, um, <laughs> and the one, some woman, Madeline or something, Madeline something, I, I forget what her name was, but she's a Jewish woman. And her husband uh, was a big casino owner. And she's worth something like 30 some billion dollars. 30 some billion dollars because her husband was stealing from people. That's a, that's a real good thing that we want here in America, right? No, it isn't. Uh, that's what is making America bad and corrupt. Um, I'll just show you here the beautiful scenery. Before we continue on down the trail. Come out here. God is in control. The God who created all this, this beauty of nature, he's in control. Lighting is not so good right now because it's very early morning. But um, better that you see that and not me. I'm talking about God's creation. <laughs> But getting back to what I was saying, all these different uh, multi-billionaires, um, guy from the, I think the guy's name is Timothy Mellon, from the Bank of New York, and he's one of the biggest supporters of Donald Trump. And it's funny because I hear Republicans, conservative Republicans, and they'll talk about, you know, Warren Buffett and... Uh, um, what's the other guy? Uh, I can't think of his name right now. But, you know, this billionaire guy, and he, George Soros, there you go. And he fun, finances the left. Oh, it's so terrible. They're doing all these things and whatever else. And then you turn around, and what about the billionaires that are, that are behind Trump and the Trump agenda? You know, the agenda of divide and conquer here is what American politics is all about. Um, trying to get people to kill each other so then the Goonies can have more excuses to take more money to fight and stop the terror that they themselves created. Uh-huh. And how about the uh, long history of American gun and drug running through the CIA? The whole Oliver North thing and Iran-Contra scandal. A lot of you young people probably don't even know anything about this other than what the history books will tell you, which is a lie. The thing of uh, setting up dictators like Saddam Hussein and so that you can later depose them. End of World War II when the CIA was called the Office of Strategic Services. And um, they're over in North Vietnam training Ho Chi Minh and his men so that uh, we can fight them you know, 30 years later. In the jungles of Vietnam. Yeah. America is run by gangsters. And uh, another thing that these gangsters do is uh, trafficking, all kinds of sexual perversion type of stuff. Um, 
used to be prostitution that they'd be involved in, adult women. And then it went to sodomy, you know, bringing in different things like that. And then it went to uh, children. And that's what they do. The infamous uh, finders case where you actually had some police officers in, um, I think it was Miami, Florida, and they found a van of two men with a bunch of children and they had a mattress in the back of the van for the children to sleep and they were feeding them junk food and whatever and the police said obviously this looks a little suspicious suspicious so we'll take them into custody we'll question them found papers that went back to washington dc on these men and um they contract contacted the metropolitan police department and uh, went back there and they found a whole warehouse of uh, all sorts of perversion videos and things and driving around neighborhoods, taking pictures of people's children. And then if the clients, the rich clients, wanted these children for their satanic ritual stuff, then the finders would go out and catch these children, kidnap them. Documented history. And uh, they were doing the investigation, the Metropolitan Police Department, and the CIA stepped in and said, the investigation is now closed, we'll take over from here, thank you for your work, goodbye. Known fact, I have the uh, police records to actually prove it. I bought them from uh, Ted Gunderson many years ago. I do my work, I do my research. I don't just come out and spout off uh, ridiculous conspiracy theories. Which really cracks me up too, because you know they'll come out with this stuff and they'll say, well, that's been debunked. Actually, that's been debunked. And what they mean is, they go to the criminals and they say, did you commit the crime? The criminals say, no. And they go, see, been debunked. <laughs> they said that they didn't do it. I had an uncle years ago that I said it's something about Freemasonry is satanic. It's worship of Lucifer. And he said, that's nonsense. He said, that's ridiculous. And he sent me an article from a Masonic lodge saying that, no, we don't worship Lucifer. Oh, okay, well, I, silly me, you know, I'm, I'm wrong because you go to the criminal and ask them if they're, you know, doing the crime and they say, no, oh, okay, that's all. <laughs> all this uh, fact checking stuff, you know, they came out recently here and, you know, the government said that there was no weather modification techniques used with Hurricane Helene and Milton. So therefore, um, since the government said it, then you can believe it. It's been debunked. Mm. You know, FEMA funds being used for bringing in illegal aliens. And that's why they ran out of money. Not true, because FEMA said it's not true. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> no, uh, we don't believe those people. Um, how about the corruption of morals? that the uh, gangster government is doing. The gangster government that's been involved in the pornography industry. The gangster government that's been involved with Hollywood. Actually, uh, the Pentagon actually has a office of propaganda. Literally, they do. I've shared it in, shared it in one of my videos years ago. Uh, absolutely insane. You know, they want to make a a patriotic movie to get people to want to be in the military, like Top Gun movies, you go to the Pentagon and they borrow military hardware and military equipment to get people excited about going to war, to spend their lives or uh, to waste their lives fighting for a cause that only benefits the bankers. And they keep telling you, oh no, it's to keep you free. Um, none of the wars in the 20th century we're fought to keep us free, okay? Not one of them. Uh, but that's a whole other issue, isn't it? Um, they were all about making money. And I know that uh, Mark Felton, a guy from the UK, he came out with a video not long ago about the uh, uh, money system, which Heinrich Himmler had set up, and that uh, King George of England was in on some of that money making that the Nazis were part of. And of course you had all the financiers in America, many of whom were uh, Jews, 
and they were making money off of it too. <laughs> and a lot of these documents have been just, just have come out recently because of FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, I think, or awareness. They've done, people have done requests to get these documents and now they can prove. They can prove the fact that, yeah, the Nazi system was about money. That's all it was. And uh, the different governments, the financiers, uh, the gangsters, they were all working together. And um, again, they make money and they also kill off the dreaded white people. And now to this day, you say, what was the most evil thing about the 20th century? And most school children will say, the Nazis. The Nazis, you know. What about uh, the communists in Russia? What about the communists in China? Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. I mean, oh, they killed a lot more than the uh, Nazis did. Well, you know. See? See, the problem was the Nazis were killing Jews. In Russia, the Jews were killing the Russian people. That's why there's a big difference there. Uh, both were wrong, by the way, but that's another issue. Um, how about no punishment of criminals? How many times have we seen this thing where uh, there are certain people that are involved in very obvious corruption cases? Jeffrey Epstein comes to mind. Oh, he just uh, died in prison, committed suicide in prison or something. What about uh, his harlot chick there? Ghislaine Maxwell or whatever her name was. What about her? What happened to her? Well, she was on trial and okay, and then they just stopped reporting on it. What about the people that are named? What about the fact that Donald Trump is pictured with his harlot and Epstein and his harlot together and they're all buddies? What about that? What about this Sean P. Diddy Combs guy, this pervert? Where's the justice? See? That's the reason I'm a Christian, because I believe in eternal justice. They might get away with it down here on this earth and live in torment as a result, but uh, in heaven, when they stand before God, they won't get away with it then. Their damnation will be just at that point. And uh, of course, that leads me into the final point, corrupt law enforcement. Um, have we seen that here in America? I think so. Yes, absolutely, we have seen lots of corrupt law enforcement, unfortunately. You hear that? That's one of my good friends out here in the Northwoods, a loon. A lot of people think I'm loony. <laughs> so, yeah, but you just heard a loon there. Hopefully that sound was recorded. Well, I love the sound of loons on the lake in the morning. I don't know where he's at, but he's out here somewhere. It's sort of a, a duck, I guess. <laughs> duck. And they make that really neat sound. See if I can see where he's at out here on the lake. Okay, I see something over there in the water. I can't make a loon noise. See if I can, it's probably going to be pretty much impossible to see it out there. It's out that way. Just dove under the water. All right, we'll get back onto the trail here. But, uh, Kind of weird talking about the corruption while walking through such a beautiful place. Um, the amazing beauty of God's creation. I mean, why well, I'd be depressed if there was no God. If I believed and actually tried to live by this uh, theory uh, that there is no God. That's all it is, it's a theory. I'll be fair about it, open-minded about it. It's a theory that there is no God. But it's a dumb theory, very foolish theory because all of this didn't just create itself. 
Well, this came about as a result of, you know, billions of years of mistakes and death and dying. <laughs> well, that's a cheery way to look at life. <laughs> um, but again, what do we do here? Um, I can complain about the government, but if I don't offer you a solution, well, I'm not really helping. Um, what is the situation? Um, well, as I've said in other videos, we have to declare our independence. You have to realize that the government is not there to help you. The government is criminal. You have a bunch of very wicked people, very evil people, servants of the devil. And that's, again, okay, you don't want to believe in God. Well, maybe you should believe in, in the devil. Because if there's a devil, then there is a God. Um, and a lot of these wicked people, uh, they serve Satan. And in their writings, you will see them talking about Lucifer. And um, that he gives them light, and they'll say, Jehovah's the bad one. It's, it's not Lucifer, it's Jehovah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, it's Lucifer. Jehovah is God. Jehovah is Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. Before he came to the earth and, as, and took the name Jesus Christ, he was Jehovah in the Old Testament. God with us. Emmanuel. All right, when Jesus was walking on the earth, he is God manifest in the flesh. That's just the way it is. That's what the Bible teaches. Well, I don't believe that. Well, then you don't believe the Bible and I can't help you. You know, but uh, understand that um, we have to think about the gangster government that we have and we have to say, you know something? Um, I'm not going to do what they tell me to do. Uh, if they're saying things that are in line with scripture, well then okay. But if they're getting way out there and they're um, trying to get me away from safe places and, and like my home and they're trying to take away my ability to protect myself from them mm, no uh hey don't worry we'll uh we're from the government we'll you know grow all your food for you and we'll just you know use genetically modified means to grow your food because that way we make more money off of you and put you into bad health so we can get you into the medical establishment perpetual patient program the triple p <laughs> and once we have you in that then um hey you know we can prescribe what we need and inject what we need and whatever to keep you sick and healthy and dependent sick and unhealthy and dependent no i uh i'd like to be independent thank you very much i'm not really interested in your poison care not health care but your poison care um, no thank you. So, going forward with the selection coming up, they're going to try to get people to attack each other. Divide and conquer, that's how you bring a nation down. What they don't want is they don't want to see people getting along. And people saying, no, you know, um, the government's not coming to help, so let's help each other. And I saw a woman that was talking about, uh, she was taking chainsaws in to the people of North Carolina so that they could cut up the trees and things that were across the road. And she said, FEMA came and stopped her. No, you can't bring that through here. Sorry, we have to inspect things and we are the ones who are qualified to help other people. You aren't. And she said, I just went on another road, took them in another way. That's what you do. And uh, there's some kind of a tragedy or something and you and your neighbors are helping each other. You see a FEMA truck coming to the area, just up, oh, stop, sorry. Hey, we're fine, we don't need you. Um, years ago, we had a local fire department come to our house and a power outage and everything. And they said, they came to the house and, and uh, oh, do you need any help? No, we're fine. Well, we're offering a warm place to come and stay, you know, because the power's out and it's winter time. Mm, we're fine. Uh, we're taken care of. We're okay. We have plenty to eat, nice warm heat and everything else. Battery powered lighting and all the stuff we need. Don't need you. 
Thank you. Goodbye. Um, that's what we have to do as Americans. Get back to the founding principles of this nation. The founding principles of this nation are all about independence, liberty, and freedom. Nobody has the right to tell you what to do. You have God-given rights. All right. Again, I will go over them just for the sake of people who are new and just watching. You have three basic God-given rights because you are made up of three parts. You have a body, you have a soul, you have a spirit. What is your body right? Bodily integrity. Boy, they're letting this trail fall apart here. Man. Tree down across the trail there. More trees down up here. But uh, let me get through this here quick. Um, bodily integrity. Uh, what is bodily integrity? No one has the right to tell you what to do with your body or put in your body. Okay, that's up to you, between you and God. Number two, the spirit of your mind. Nobody has a right to tell you what to think. They can suggest, they can give you theories or, or ideas or whatever else, but it ultimately comes down to you. You make up your own mind. And number three, your soul is personal defense. You have that weird gut feeling of kind of a, oh, I don't feel right about this. This something just seems really wrong and off about this. That is your soul. That feeling inside of you, you can't, it's not a perception thing. I see a bear standing right there. I feel uneasy. No, it's just, you're someplace and you think, I don't see any danger, but I can feel the danger. That's your soul. Okay, nobody has a right to take those away from you. So when you realize that the country is being run by a bunch of gangsters, and I didn't even get into the thing of, you know, secret societies, the Freemasons and, and uh, the Jesuit order, Again, just look at the background of a lot of these people. Both Trump and Kamala Harris, they both have been trained by Jesuits. Uh, the whole scamdemic thing. Jesuits were involved all through it. Fauci, Jesuit. Redfield, Jesuit. A lot of the news commentators, Jesuit trained. And their whole mission is to get people back under the authority of the Roman Catholic Church to destroy freedom destroy liberty. That's why I've stood against them for uh, many years, very many years, um, <clears throat> 20 years actually to be exact, since I've been in ministry. Well, not quite 20 years, I guess, getting there. 2007 is when I went into ministry, so not quite 20 years yet, but heading in that direction. Um, but don't fall for it. Don't fall for their scams. It's very important. So, that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's get independent of these monsters, these gangsters. Um, I'm not voting because I'm not going to be part of their scam. I'm not going to say, well, I'll choose the lesser of two evils. No. Some uh, gangster hitman comes out here and he says, what do you want? Uh, do you want me to stab you to death or shoot you? I'm going to say, uh, I think I'll fight you instead. I pick neither option. I'd rather fight. Okay? Think about it.